So this video is going to be the basic rundown of the steps I use to make my animatics. Now, not many of my animatics are well known by like a lot of people, except for this one that's really bad, only took me 45 minutes to make, and for some reason got 100k views, so that may or may not be a testament to how crappy YouTube can be sometimes, but yeah, so let's just get into the video of how I make my animatics. So the first step to making an animatic is finding inspire an inspiring song or like finding audio that fits well this story. So this is the first step and it can happen in one of two ways. The first way is you're just listening to music or you have YouTube on autoplay and like something comes up and you're like, man, this really suits my story. So you put that and then you like it fits perfectly. So it just works. It happened by coincidence or the more likely part, um, you get an idea and then you start looking for a song. Personally, I have spent over a week looking for a song, and it worked out, I guess. Now, this can probably be one of the biggest like roadblocks to just starting an animatic, because you can't really find a song, it's not that easy to write one, at least from what I know of, probably not. So, yeah, you're probably going to want to find something, or have a person who can write a song for you, which would be pretty cool. So, once you've figured out what audio you're going to use for your animatic, you can move on to step two. So step two is not a mandatory step, but I put it down because I've done it a few times and it's helped me out a bit with keeping the flow of the animatic clear and making sure I fit in every detail I want. So what it is, is you take a piece of paper, a laptop, whatever, and you write down or type out whatever you want to show in the animatic, like story details, important characters, maybe like an important object, write down everything. So. You might have the general idea of what you want to show in the animatic, like once you've found your song or like just in the beginning when you have your idea, but it's important to write it down. Do you want to show a relationship? Do you want to show a part of a bigger story? Just write it all down. You don't have to do this, but you can and it makes the animatic a lot more fluid and understandable. Step three is absolutely mandatory. Well, yeah, basically is you technically don't have to do it, but once I started doing this for my animatics, they they're easier to piece together and you don't need to just keep on working on one frame and then start out another. So you, it's basically like planning. So what you do, um, you plan out every frame. So you just get a piece of paper and I can't, it's harder to explain. So just look at the screen. If you're just listening, look at the screen for a quick second. So as you can see on my piece of paper, it has like um, a bunch of rectangles on it with drawings inside. So as you can see on the top, it's five rectangles by seven rectangles. Now those are going to be your flame, your frames, not your flames. And inside these, you're going to put like a very small, non-detailed sketch of what you want happening in the scene. They don't need to be very specific. As long as you can understand what's going on inside the frames, they're good. And under those frames, you want to write the lyrics or like the timestamp of the song of what you want to happen at the same time. While those lyrics are playing, you want the frame above to be showing. If that makes sense, um, hopefully it does. So personally, I like to redo the like the thumbnailing step at least twice, because usually by the first time I don't have everything figured out, but if I do it twice, probably by the time I'm doing it the second time, I've already thought over what I want to do, so I'm not already working on the animatic, have drawn like a few frames, and now I have to go back and change it. So yeah, maybe do things twice, or at least look it over and maybe change a few things before you actually start drawing. This one, I've mashed step four and five together, so if I were to just say the step four is drawing them out, and step five is... Uh, editing it together, putting it over the audio, making sure the timing's right, adding any small animations. I'm making an animatic, not an animation, but I do put like small animations in my animatic sometimes. So it's start drawing and start editing. So you can draw all the frames and then put them together, but I find that really not tedious, but overwhelming because once you're done drawing, now you have to edit the entire thing. So what I like to do is draw like three to five frames at a time and then I go into iMovie which is what I used to edit and then I put it all together slowly piece by piece. So before you start drawing you should decide how you want your um, animatic to look. So if you just want it like sketchy or just line art with minimal shading and colors like that that's going to take a general amount of time. I'm not sure it's different for everyone if I do that it takes me about like 20 to 30 minutes per frame or like maybe 15 to 30 minutes per frame really depends if you do it in grayscale double what your usual time would be if you're just doing line art and if you do it in full color sometimes or like heavily shaded like every frame heavily shaded then quadruple that amount so 
uh, you really like pick this yourself and of course this is based off my own experience might take more time or less time depending on how complex your drawing style is and just how long you've been drawing so for editing i just use imovie along with like a cool trick i've learned to achieve this handheld effect that i've seen in lots of videos but never learned how to figure it out i'm pretty sure this is probably how these people don't do it anyways because they have proper editing software so what you do, you go into your Photos app, and I'm not sure if this works for Android, because I don't have any Android devices to show you that with. It might work, might not. So you go into um, Photos, like the Photos app that's on there by default. You bring up the picture you want to put the effect on. So you start screen recording, and then you just, like, put your two fingers on the thing and start shaking it around. If that makes sense, look at the screen. So you start moving it around and while you're screen recording, just get all the good bits. So you stop moving it around, stop screen recording, put it in your editing software, um, cut out the parts you don't need, and then just crop out the parts where it shows the corners or like other things you don't want to see. There you go. Now you have a handheld effect. Pretty ghetto, but it works out pretty well. So I don't really know how to use any other editing softwares or anything like that. So I can't give any tips for anything other than iMovie, really. And I don't even have like an Apple computer, a Mac, or whatever. I don't have any of those, so I feel like the iMovie on there is different. I'm actually pretty sure they got rid of iMovie, but yeah, I can only give you tips on the mobile iMovie if the freaking Mac iMovie still works. Okay, so step six seems pretty dumb. So by the time you're considering step six, you're probably already done or nearly done your animatic. So what step six is, redraw any frame you're really unhappy with. Now, it feels kind of obvious, but while you're in the process of making the animatic, you're already like kind of exhausted and tired or like just bored, say it or like that. I don't know if that's the right word, but you're just kind of pushing it to the side. So. I recommend you change any frames you're unhappy with because once you publish it or somehow you can't like change anything like maybe you submitted it to your teacher or whatever um change it before you do that because then you'll be able you'll regret whatever you drew that you're not happy with and you can't fix it now so fix it while you can and if you've done that or if you're already happy with your frames now you're done and you have an animatic so i hope this video was helpful by any means, if you have any concerns or something, I don't know, write them in the comments. Feel free to share your animatics, that'd be pretty cool. So, that's all I have for today. Um, I'm making this video because I have art block and I can't think of anything to draw right now. So, yeah. Um, bye! <laughs>